Okay, welcome back to episode six of a pro shop where I, as an average golfer, check out the very best deals that are out there for you and see if I can relay some important information you might not be aware of. And believe me, this is the most excited I've been in terms of an episode of Pro Shop because I genuinely believe what is on the table right now could offer you the best value in terms of golf clubs that there is right now on the marketplace, 100%. So don't go anywhere. Right, so this video is in association with our partner, Hot Golf, and all the products you're about to see can be purchased from them. I'm gonna kick things off with Shall we just go straight into the exciting bit? Because there's a number of products on this table that you'll, you'll be familiar with all of them. They're all pretty exciting, to be honest with you. I love all of these products for all different reasons. But if you really want to get to the real nitty gritty of what the excitement is, well, I'm afraid it's going to be PXG. I don't want to say afraid because we're very positive towards PXG on this channel, which can often be led as a criticism, but I really don't understand how we can avoid what is going on right now in terms of their pricing strategy. It's been a thing, obviously it's moved quite considerably over the last few years to say the least, and they have definitely entered the market at a lower price point than we ever expected to see. Now, I, like you, always thought that it was very much a direct-to-consumer brand, which it is. But Hot Golf have got a exclusive deal in the UK where they are still selling PXG product at the same price as you would buy by going direct to PXG. But what that also means is you can also access really big stocks that PXG might have themselves, but Hot Golf are sitting on. So, should we go with the driver? 0 to 11 was the game changer for PXG because it brought their product in at a price point that, like I said, nobody ever expected. But what they couldn't do was bring out a product that was low in price but poor in terms of quality and performance, and that's exactly what 0 to 11 isn't. It, first of all, it looks superb. This is the 2023 version of 0 to 11. And quite honestly, it is one of the best looking drivers or profiles, at least throughout the range of mine, the driver, three wood hybrid, whatever address for me that is out there right now. In terms of shelf appeal, that's what you're looking at. It is it's a premium driver. It's premium in every way except for the price point. Now, the price point and I'm going to reach out. I'm going to read these over to you now because I'm going to go through a few products all at once. The drivers in front of me, that driver is retailing at 229 UK pounds. Now, when you consider everything that's going on right now in terms of cost of living crisis, everybody complaining how expensive golf is, rightly so, all the leading brands are bringing out drivers that are 500 quid or there or thereabouts, then I challenge any one of you to find a driver out there that is offering you better value than what PXG are in that 0 to 11. And in this case, hot golf are offering in that 0 to 11. At Two, I'm even going to lance down again to make sure we've got this bit right. 229 quid. They then do a three wood, which is 179, and they do a hybrid, which is 169. Out of that lot, I still feel that the driver is the real big, um, the, the real standout product in terms of price, because it's literally half price anything else that is out there by comparison. But it doesn't end there because they've also got this 0317 prototype range, which again, just came out previous to the 0211. It's what Hot Golf do really well. And that's giving you access still to slightly older models. They're brand new. It's not like it's a used product, brand new product, but it's a year or so old in terms of the cycle. So this 0317, again, I'm gonna read, I've got the hybrid in front of me now, superb finish again, really one of the best finishes that there are in terms of that address point, slightly different to that of the 0211. But let me read these out for you now. 0317X prototype hybrid, that's 129 quid. I mean, honestly, again, that blows my mind because that was 349 when it first came out. It's 129. You can get a fairway wood for exactly the same price. That's 129 quid worth 349. So, if anybody is out there that is wanting to change their driver, feel like there's other fairway woods or hybrids, feel there's a need to do so right now, but doesn't want to spend the big money, you've got two options. You either go into the second hand market and you pick up some of last year's or previous year's uh, used models, which is fine. Or in this case, you can buy brand new product. One of the points to mention, 
The driver and fairway wood that I had in terms of the 0211 have got even flow shafts in them. The shaft themselves is worth 150 quid's worth. So it's a no brainer for me. You've got some real, real quality product. There's plenty of stock and plenty of options in terms of lofts and all the rest that goes with it. So yet again, to me, Hot Golf have just come up with something which is absolutely hitting the price point that everybody's complaining that just isn't there right now. So look, I ain't even gonna hit these things. I've done plenty of reviews. If you wanna go backwards into the archives and see what I thought of these things, then by all means do so. They all got extremely good reviews, but at a price point that was different than this. It was low at the time when it came out, but it certainly wasn't at this point. So the best value product out there by a mile right now is this PXG lineup of 0211, which you can still get plenty of access to, and that 0317-0314 lineup from just a little bit previous as well. So go and check those out, links in the description below. Right, I don't know where you wanna go. Let's go, let's go with the ball first of all, this tour response strike. I'm more telling you about the availability because this was a hugely successful ball from TaylorMade when they released it. The problem was you couldn't get hold of any stock and very quickly everybody sold out. I was going to show you, the intention was to show you this uh, multi-pack, which was basically the yellow stripe, orange, blue and red stripe ball. I love it as a golf ball. Uh, real strong alignment aid, super ball all around in terms of performance. I said I was going to show you because they've already sold out the multi-pack in terms of the colours, but the tour response ball, $34.99 and plenty of stock available but only available now in the yellow still hugely popular um let's move on to a very very quick one if you are going away on holiday this could be the item that you need right now because uh, if you're traveling on a plane you need to pack your bags in some kind of uh, golf carrier um, mcgregor have got something which is really really low in cost if you don't want to break the bank this thing comes in 49.99 i always got to check the prices um just really super value because often you can spend another 150 quid on the sort of um the the known more known brands if you like so if you don't want if you don't do a lot of travel i would say this is a good uh, idea to buy at this lower price point if you want something a bit more heavy duty then obviously consider what is out there as well but that kind of money really highlights as a star product for me um we've got two options left to discuss i'm going to go with the iron first of all I featured the blacked out version of the P790s from TaylorMade on the last episode. But oh my word, I mean this is now Stealth and um, the Stealth irons are, as I understand, the biggest selling iron for TaylorMade this year uh, because of who they're aimed at. It's hugely successful because it's just a real good all-round iron because I think it's almost without offending anybody who might have them you could almost class it as a game improvement iron uh, but with the looks of something that is far more sleek and it's gone even more sleek in terms of this black version there are limited sets available again that's why i'm letting you know that uh, it's available from hot golf 899 a set which i think is maybe a couple of hundred pound more expensive than standard stealth uh, blacked out kbs shaft black grip <coughs> As I said about the P790s, they don't play any difference. They just look superb in your bag. And if you're after that kind of thing, then by all means, go for them. Last but not least, and it certainly isn't because it's a big, big product. Um, it is the Garmin S70 Approach Watch. GPS device and much more because it doesn't end there. It really does. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this thing has got everything in it in terms of any kind of watch, whether it be your Apple watch or um, any kind of GPS watch that's coming in the golf space. It just does everything. Um, it looks superb. This is the 47 mil in terms of the size of bezel, which is a slightly more expensive model. I'm going to check down again. It comes in at a mind blowing 649 quid. Now just before everyone gets excited, I said that I would bring affordable items and that's where the sort of PXG thing started off and uh, this certainly doesn't fall into that category. It's hugely expensive for a watch. The Garmin S60, my dad had, and he absolutely loves it. I've had this on for a number of rounds and I absolutely love it. But why do I love it? Well, look, first reason is, is because it looks so good. As shallow as that may sound, it is a really good looking watch on your arm. So away from the golf, I'd wear this all day long, every day, look superb. 
can do all kinds of different faces with it in terms of what you're looking at and what suits your eye, uh, as with a lot of these digital kind of watches. Again, very minor detail. There are then a number of other things with track heart rate and steps and all those other things that uh, all these watches do nowadays. Like I said, I'm not even gonna list them because it, honestly it's endless what this watch can do. And then you can pay for an app as well, which gives you even access to more information. So I just wanna concentrate on the golf element because honestly, from my perspective, I'd buy a watch as a watch and I'd buy a GPS device as a GPS device for golf. And to me, that's what I'm looking at right now is a GPS device for golf. All the rest of tracking my heart rate and number of steps I've done, I'm not really interested to be honest with you. So it's got an amazing display, without doubt the best display I have seen, uh, incredibly detailed, incredibly accurate, incredibly easy to navigate with the touch screen in and around the watch. Once you started using clubs and it starts to identify which club you've used, it will then start to recommend club selection based on your yardages, which again, we've seen in other watches as well. So the thing for me is why would you pay 649 pound for a Garmin Approach S70? Well, because you've got a fair bit of money in your bank, you've got a lot of disposable income and you like things that look good because to be quite honest with you, that is the only reason why you would buy it because it's exceptional. That's, it's exceptional. But from a golfing device, a GPS device, it does what many other GPS devices do. It does it extremely well, but ultimately that's what it does. Now I love it, that's not to say I don't like it, but I do think that is an extremely high price. However, what I'm also told is you cannot get hold of these things, they are flying off the shelf. So clearly, like most things, I read a lot of comments that suggest, you know, everybody wants something down the bottom end in terms of bargain. You know, this isn't for the average golfer. You know, I'm displaying stuff that's priced out of the equation. But then, year on the next step, these things are sold out, these things are sold out, and it's like, you know, well, clearly, someone out there is spending money and prepared to uh, splash out on the likes of the Garmin S70. So, if you've got that kind of money in your pocket, if you want the very best in terms of a GPS watch, then without doubt, I think that's fair to say that the Garmin S70 approach is that, but it comes with that price tag. Right, that's me done. It's kind of like... You know, we're trying to keep these things relatively short and sweet. I don't want to waffle on too much because at the end of the day, it is simply just highlighting product. And the shock for me was the fact that, first of all, I didn't know Hot Golf sold. I didn't know any the retailer still sold PXG product. I thought it was all direct to consumer. Um, and the benefit of that, like I said, is to be able to access stocks that even PXG themselves mightn't have. Uh, so that's a key point to mention. And those prices still blow my mind as to how they're quite doing that and to meet without doubt the bargain of 2023 in terms of golf products so uh, yeah go and check them out if uh, it's something you need if none of these things appeal then i do apologize we'll look at next uh, week's or fortnightly episode of this and hopefully we'll pick on something that might appeal to you next time round. right thanks as ever to our sponsor hot golf thanks to you for watching give me some comments down below if you've used any of these products i would love to hear from you but more importantly your fellow golfer would also like to know your opinion as well because you might just point them in the right direction right thanks for watching see you all tomorrow night